Welcome to another episode of Trench Tech. Today we're going to show you um, a viewer requested video of how to burn a CD in a specific order with Windows Media Player. So as you can see here we have Windows Media Player open and here at the top you have play, burn, or sync. So we want to make sure that we're on the burn tab and over here we have a list of music so all we're going to do is take this music, select it, and drag it on top of the burn list. So as you can see here, we now have the burn list. You can name it, so you can My Awesome Mix. And here, this is going to be the order of the songs. So if you want Maroon 5 Sugar first, and then maybe Uptown Funk You Up with Bruno Mars, and then we'll split up these Ellie Goldie songs. So as you can see here, this is the order that it would burn, and you can see that there, the disc itself has 20 minutes and 11 seconds on it, and most CDs will hold about 70 minutes. So of this disc, we're taking up 20 of 70 minutes. So you can continue to put songs on it until it reaches that amount. And this is to burn it as a regular CD, meaning you can stick it in most car CD players, just CD player boombox, pretty much anywhere that accepts a regular from the, door, from the store disc can accept these. Now there are problems, sometimes specific discs won't read in some players, but as long as it, for the most part, is just a standard CD player, it should play this. This is not an MP3 disc. An MP3 disc uses data to store it, and it has to be special players. Almost everything you buy nowadays is an MP3 compatible player, but this is the most common form, it's just a regular audio disc, which again holds about 70 minutes. So once you're done with that, you need to make sure you put a disc in, and then you click Start Burn. And as you can see, I don't have a disc in, so it won't burn, but you'd put the blank disc in, and it would burn it as a CD. If you have additional questions on how to do something on your computer, feel free to leave a comment down below, or you can find us on Twitter, at Trench Tech, and we'd be happy to answer questions there as well. Don't forget to subscribe.